don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night. And if they cross the line of scrimmage, I'm going to take every last one of you out. You make sure that they remember forever the night they played the Titans. What? everybody what a game what a game what a game not the prettiest of games but a gutsy game all you haters out there that want to run their mouth about Dallas we suffered yet another injury to our defensive ends that makes four we were out two defensive backs we were out our left tackle yet we scrapped up a win Dak Prescott Fumble in the red zone, interception in the red zone, yet marches the team down all the way down the field for the go-ahead touchdown, fourth down. Again, I did not like the call with Rico Dowdle. Did not like that. I, I did told my son, I said, they're going to fumble here if he tries to leap up, and don't you know that's what happened. But all for not, we got the win. Cowboys 20 Steelers 17, take that L. Yes, we were right where I said we were going to be, okay? What I was telling everybody is 3-3 three and three going into the bye. Well, we got our three. We got our three. We ain't dead yet. Now, we come home next week and play the Detroit Lions. Yes, they're on a bye. They're gonna have, it's going to be a tough game. But the fact that we got this game... Now we get to go in there a little loosey-goosey, head into the bye. We need the bye. Um, I want to break this down. It's been a long, long day with the uh, my Phillies winning earlier, which it took a couple of days off my life, and this one again. So let's look at the box score, though. Um, I kind of want to see. Uh, here we go. Let's change the camera for everybody. All right, let me share the screen. There we go. Dak Prescott, 29 for 42, 352. Only sacked twice. Only sacked twice. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. The one down near the goal line was bad. I don't know if it was a miscommunication. And the other one was the deep ball that he overthrew Tolbert. The Tolbert. Didn't really help him out. You're supposed to make a better play on the ball to break it up. Either way, not good. Dak also had the fumble in the red zone. Not good. Again, I, yet another th third and one where we're passing the ball. You know what I mean? Instead of just handing it off, bad things happen. So we need to get over that. But some of the good, some of the good. Rico Dowdle, 20 for 87. Ezekiel Elliott, 6 for 17. Not the best. Hunter Lepke, Hunter Lepke. He doesn't pop off on the stats, uh, but, man, was that, was that screen towards the end of the game clutch. He just always seems to be making the right play. Rico, 20 for 87, a 4.4 average, whereas we go to Najee Harris. I heard all week how Najee was going to run down our throat. No, not today. Not today. We were beat up. We were banged up, and all we did was make plays. 14 for 42, a three-yard average. That's impressive. Fields, 15 for 27, 131 and two touchdowns. Okay, he was sacked three times. Um, good, bad, and the ugly. Again, Jalen Tolbert stepped up. We didn't see any Ryan Flournoy at the receiver position. Again, I said we needed somebody to step up. He did. Seven for 87, got the... You know, the touchdown as time was... Exp basically, time was expiring. Yeah, there was a what? 30 seconds left. 
Uh, Jake Ferguson, huge again, six for 70. CeeDee Lamb, five for 62, disappeared in the second half. Had one nice catch. But again, we need to see what's going on. Rico Dowdle, I've been very, very critical of Rico. Rico stepped up. Rico ran hard. Rico ran hard. Yes, he did. Um, Hunter Lepke, one for 18. Jalen Brooks, one for 10. Uh, Brevin Spanford had two catches for 20 yards. Again, it was a much needed win much needed win now when i go into the box score let me see here b -b -b teams uh team stats team stats dak prescott 29 42 352 rico 20 for 87 jalen tolbert led seven for 87 and a touchdown um total yards we dominated play people dallas cowboys dominated play Total yards, 445 to 226. Problem is we had three turnovers. We lost our turnover battle and still won the game. We had 25 first downs to 17 for Pittsburgh. We out a possession them 32-29 to 27-31. Uh, uh, again, way too many penalties for Dallas. Way too many penalties. 11 penalties for 87 yards. Again, that's back-to-back -back games with 11 penalties. Something's got to give. Something has to give. Two interceptions, one fumble. Not good. Not good. We did it. We got that third victory. Looks like I'm going to be right going into the bye. I said three and three going into the bye. Maybe we'll be four and two. No two and five here, baby. Take that shit down the road. No two and five here. We beat a three and one team too. So I only hear people run their mouth about how the Steelers suck. They were three and one when we played them. Okay. So again, you can only play who's on your schedule. We're very, 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 very banged up. And yet we gutted out a win. We actually had our best rushing, uh, you know, game. Hey, I hate to say it, but you know, with the rookie out, maybe we're better off. Maybe we're better off. With T.J. Bass at left guard and Tyler Smith at left tackle. Maybe we are. At least for the short term, anyway. Very, very, very clutch win. As I go into the mailbox, I did tell everybody what I had. I had us winning on the final drive. A 26-24. I did have that, but uh, I had Albrecht it kicking the game-winning field goal. This was even better because first half it was ugly. Dallas was just shooting themselves in the foot time and time and time and time again. That's what they were doing, constantly shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, I don't know how we could... Uh, it, I mean, it could be any more frustrating than, you know, what it was. It seemed like every time we got some footing, something would happen. Now, we got to hold our breath because Marshawn Nealon got hurt. Again, yet another. We lost Sam Williams, starter. We have, you know, we are uh, without um, Demarcus Lawrence for at least six weeks. We're without... Uh, Micah Parsons through the bye week. I mean, and now we lose Marshawn Nealon. Looks like it was an ACL, people. I'm really going to say a prayer for the guy. Hopefully he's okay. I thought we fought. We, we scrapped. We're going to have to find somebody. We're going to have to make a move, Jerry. If Marshawn Nealon is out, I like what, with, I like what happened with some of the young guys, but maybe go make a move. This, this team has a little something. You know, we're doing it with one wide receiver and a bunch of rookies. Jalen Tolbert is a second, basically a second-year player with very, very little uh, run. Today was huge for him. Uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like this team deserves you to go make some sort of move. Uh, I don't know that that'll happen, um, but I would love to go out and get a defensive end. Make a play. I know it's... It, I mean, it's crazy, but make a play for Hassan Reddick. That would be a real good guy to go get. But, you know, again, are they going to do it? 
Probably not. But I just feel like this team deserves... Uh, they fight. They scrap. It's not always easy. It's not always pretty. But again, what I told you, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. And by the end of the year, all playing all these rookies as much as they do will pay dividends. And hopefully this year, but if not, uh, going forward into next year. So it's very, very important. Now, looking ahead to our your schedule going forward. Um, home against the Lions. We get to come home. Now, they're on a bye week. So, again, this is the last game before the bye. Lions are coming off a bye. We'll see. We'll see. Lions haven't been great, great. They're a very good offensive team. Defensively, listen, if we can get to four and two, my God, that would be, if we get to four and two, watch out. Because, yeah, we got three tough, we got four tough games after the bye. Here, let me show everybody. Lions at home. If we can win that, that's four and two. Niners. Niners are losing. Niners don't look good. We could win that game. At the Falcons, it's going to be tough. Home against the Eagles, I'll be at that game. Come on now. And then home against the Texans. At the Commanders, home against the Giants, home against the Bengals, at the Panthers, home against Tampa, at Philly, home against Washington. So the next four are tough. The next five, one, two, three, four, five. The next six, I mean, just it's one at a time, people. It's one at a time. But um, listen, we got a dub. We're not going to be two and five. We're going to be, I said three and three at the bye. This is how I had it, people. I had us. Losing in Cleveland, beating the Saints, losing to the Ravens, beating the Giants. So I had us two and two. I had us beating the Steelers. So we're three and two. I had us losing to the Lions, three and three. I had us losing to the 49ers, three and four. And then uh, I had at the Falcons as a win, four and four, five and four. Uh, I mean, I got the 10 wins. So we're back in the 10 win a, a ballpark. The next five games, six games is going to determine what we do. But this was a huge win. Huge win. Huge win. Dallas wins 20 to 17. Uh, just looking at some of the scores in the East, Washington Commanders continually. I mean, we kind of knew that, right? Um, we kind of knew that the. Yeah, that the Commanders were going to win at home against Cleveland. But uh, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. I'll share it again. Commanders are sitting atop the NFC East at 4-1. 4-1. and, one. Four and one. They're, uh, Dallas sits number two in the division at 3-2. and two. They're 3-0 and oh on the road, 0-2 oh at home. We need to turn that around next week. One and one in the conference. Um, Eagles are sitting in third place at two and two. One and one, one and one. The Giants. Giants got a good win at Seattle. Big win. Two and three. I should have known better, but Giants are two and three. Um, so Dallas is looking good right now. Uh, again, I was just going to hand the uh, division to the Eagles. Well, it looks like we got a fight on our hands. Um, the Washington Commanders are for real. Minnesota Vikings keep rolling at 5-0. and Detroit Lions are 3-1. and They can't afford to lose to us. They will get two games in the loss column if they do. Green Bay had a big win, 3-2. and Chicago had a good win as well against the lowly Panthers, 3-2. and But look at, look at this, everybody. Atlanta Falcons, 3-2. and Tampa Bay, 3-2. and New Orleans, 2-2. Two and two. And a Carolina one at four. But look at this right here. Super Bowl hangover is real. Seattle Seahawks atop the division, followed by Arizona, then San Fran. Come on now. Come on now. One game at a time. Very, very a gritty win. Uh, Dallas Cowboys win this game um, a 20 to 17. Again. Zach Martin, we had a scare with Zach Martin with the um, 
I thought it was like a torn hamstring or something. Then I saw him hold his leg up. My God, like, oh, he needs an IV. He got on the cart, went and got an IV. Very, very physical game. Um, very chippy. Steelers were kind of dirty, in my opinion. Uh, but but they got it shoved where the sun don't shine. Uh, at the end of the day, we got the W. Take the L, Steeler Nation. Uh, you got punked at the end. TJ Watt, congratulations on your 100th sack. It seems like you had most of them against the Cowboys. But uh, we got it. We got it, people. We got the win. We get to take a, a sigh of relief. Hopefully, Marshawn Nealon isn't out for the year, but I think he is. Uh, the only thing else I got to say is... How about them Cowboys? Yeah! Late.